Hey Dean Peeps and welcome to the No Bra Zone. I'm happy you're here. I was just sitting upstairs with my man having a cold beer <laughs> and reading some wonderful comments that uh, you paint and peeps have posted on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook page, and looking at your questions as well. Um, I get the same question more often than anything. And people ask me, how do I mix my paints? So I decided to come down here, leave my beer and my man behind to do my best to answer it for you all. And I'll tell you why. I remember being so confused, so overwhelmed, my head so full with different information that I had learned from different artists and different YouTube channels. And it was extremely, extremely frustrating. The best advice, and I've spoken about this before, I have ever heard was from Sweet Molly from Molly's Artistry. And she said point blank, and I agree with you, Molly, you need to find your own way. And I found my own way. It took me a while. I've been painting now for 18 months, and it probably took me eight to nine months before I found my own way. But the main thing I'm here to talk about is why I can't answer the one question that I get asked several times a day. How do I mix my paints? What's my paint to pouring medium ratio? Um, how much golden GAC 800, how much Floetrol, how much water? I can't answer it. And the reason I can't answer it is because it depends on so many things. And that's what I'm here briefly to talk to you about. It depends on the paints that you're using. It depends on the type of paint that you're using. It depends on the pouring medium that you're using, it depends on so many things. So it's virtually impossible for me to answer the question. So I'm going to teach you pretty much what I taught myself. And hopefully it clicks. Hopefully you will experiment and hopefully you will find your own way. And what I mean by your own way, you all have heard me speak of my teach, Courtney Hauscher. I followed her. I watched everything that she did. I was enamored by her art. I wanted to do everything just like her in the beginning and then take it in the direction that I wanted to take it in. So I did exactly what she did. She uses, I think Courtney uses, oh goodness, it's, it's been a while. I think her Pouring medium is 30% Floetrol and 70% Golden GAC 800, I think. I'm not 100% sure. And I tried it. Everything I did, I did with that pouring medium because my teach used it. And if she was using it, I was using it too. It didn't work for me. It was too thin. So I played with it. I upped the amount of Floetrol that I put in my pouring medium and I continue to experiment until I got it to the right consistency. Another thing that makes all the difference in the world is what technique you're using. When I do my swipes, my paints are as thin as water. When I do my ring pours, my paints are thicker. So it depends on three major things. What paint you're using, what pouring medium you're using, and what are you using those paints for? What technique? So let's just quickly cover all of those things, okay? My pouring medium recipe for my swipes is 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. Why do I like my GAC? For so many reasons, guys. It's archival. It helps with cracking. It helps with crazing. It helps thin my paints down. Floetrol is too thick for me. 
when I'm doing my swipes. That's why I add 50% Golden GAC 800. Now, do I add water to that as well? It all depends on the paint, and we'll get to that in a second. For my ring pours, I like my paints thicker. And when the talented ladies came up with this mix pour and I reached out and I grabbed my butt some of this, this was perfect for my ring pours because it's thicker. It is also archival. So what does that mean? You don't have to varnish it. I varnish most of my pieces just for a little extra protection, but I use my mix when I'm doing my ring pours. How much water do I add to my mix? It depends on the paint. So, how do I mix my pouring medium? This big old jug right here has a line on it. Actually, the line is different now because it's changed. I put half flow trawl to here, half GAC 800 to here, and then I mix it up really good. Every time I open this container, I mix it because Floetrol is heavier than GAC. And if it sits for an hour or two, the Floetrol settles to the bottom. That's for my swipes because I like my paints thinner for my swipes. How much water do I add? That's a hard question to answer, and let me tell you why. It depends on the paint you're using. So let's talk about that briefly. Heavy body paints, fluid paints, medium body paints, um, high flow paints. Guys, there are so many different paints out there that it can make your head spin. It makes my head spin, but I'm going to give you a quick lesson in that. A lot of you use your tube paints. I consider a tube paint a medium body paint. So this is Arteza and this is their gold. I'm going to put a little dibble right there. See it? Medium body paint. It doesn't move. Do you see the thickness there? Another medium body paint a lot of you use. Deco Art Metallics and this is the gold. Medium body paint. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I can't get the darn thing open. There we go. Okay. Medium body paint, like the Arteza. The Arteza is actually a little bit heavier body, and I'll show you why. Let's put a little dibble next to the Arteza. See that? You can tell it hasn't formed that little peak. It's a little bit thinner than the Arteza tube paint. Golden paints, it's what I use. A lot of people don't use them because they're expensive, but it comes out in the wash, guys. This golden paint, its pigments are so intense that you can add five parts pouring medium to it. So it all comes out in the wash, guys. I love my golden paints. I love them particularly because they're fluid paints. I like a fluid paint. I do a lot of swipes. I like my fly swipes fluid. So this is a fluid paint. What does that mean? It's thinner. It means a lot more than that, but basically it's thinner. So I'm going to put a little dab right there of my golden fluid paint. So we've got our tube paint, medium body paint, We've got our Deco Art Metallics tub paint, a little bit thinner and more fluid than that. We have our golden fluid paints right there. This is golden iridescent gold. This is a high flow paint, which means it's even more thinner. So let's put a little dab right here on this paper plate. So we have four gold paints, medium heavy body, medium body, fluid body, and high flow body. Do you see them all? Now let's tilt that pig. Do you see the difference, guys? So how much water do I add to these paints? I'll tell you. I start out with my most fluid paint, 
I put it in my cup and I add my pouring medium. General roll with my golden fluid paints because the pigment is so intense. One part paint, three to four parts pouring medium in my cup. And I start with the most fluid paint. I'm doing a swipe. I want all my paints to be close to the same consistency. I start with the most fluid. I add my pouring medium. I stir it up and I check the consistency. Then I work my way down to the next fluid paint and I end with the heaviest body paint. And then I look at those paints. Once I've added the same amount of pouring medium, the same amount of paints to each cup, what's gonna happen? The heavy body paint is gonna be thicker. At that point, I add water or I add something else. I keep in little bottles right next to where I mix my paints two containers. A container of GAC 800 and a container of the mixed pouring medium. We'll put the mix aside for now. If I needed to thin this paint down to be the same consistency of this paint, I either add some water or some golden GAC 800 to it and I stir and I mix until they're all the same consistency until they all fall off my popsicle stick when I stir them up and they dissipate almost instantly into the cup below. That's how I like my swipe. So do I add water to my paints if I need to? Which paints do I generally add water to? The heavier body paints to get them to the consistency that I want for my swipes. If I'm doing a ring pour, I use my mixed pouring medium because it's a thicker pouring medium. And I'm gonna show that to you real quick. I like my ring pours thicker. If the paint is too thin and you start to tilt it after you pour it onto your canvas, it's gonna run all over the damn place. So swipes are different. Ring pours, I like my paints thicker. So. This is our mixed pouring medium. This is my pouring medium that I use for my swipe, which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. Let me get that out of the way. Another paper plate. My pouring medium for swipes, 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800. My pouring medium for ring pours, the mix. Let's tilt it. One is thinner than the other, so. You ask me how I mix my paints, or they, you ask me how I teach you to mix your paints, it depends on your pouring medium. If you're using the thinner pouring medium, you almost don't have to add water to get them down to the consistencies. If you're using a heavier pouring medium, then you might have to add water to get it down to the consistency for a swipe or for a ring pour, or whatever technique you're using. Um, Floetrol, let me shake this up, guys. Floetrol is relatively heavy. Let's pour a little thing on there. See how it's moving a little bit slower than the uh, my pouring medium, which is the GAC and the Floetrol? little bit. It's about the same consistency as the mix. Now, what do I do when I'm mixing for a ring pour? Now, I'm going to show you a really good example. We're going to use three different paint types. We're going to do a ring pour. We're actually not. We're pretending like we are. This is the golden high flow paint, and I want this in my ring pour. 
So I go ahead and I put about a half an ounce of that paint in that cup. Can you see how fluid that is? But we also want the Arteza Mecca tube paint, which is a heavier body paint. And we put about an ounce in that cup. See how thick that is compared to this? Then we're going to use our fluid paint. This is our high flow paint. This is our fluid paint, which is a little bit heavier. Is your head spinning yet? <laughs> Let's put about a half an ounce in there. So we have our high flow, we have our medium body paint, and we have our fluid paints. Can you see the difference? Now let's add our pouring medium to this, okay? Let's use the mix pouring medium because we're doing a ring pour. So I'm going to add about two and a half ounces, two and a half ounces, two and a half ounces. Now I'm going to start with my fluid paint because that's going to dictate the consistencies of the rest of my paints because it's more fluid. And we are going to stir and stir and stir and stir that up. Let me put it down here. Easier for me to stir. Now this is our most fluid paint. Now let's look at that consistency. It's still very fluid. This would be perfect for a swipe, but I want it thicker because I'm doing a ring pour. But I'm gonna put that aside for one second. Let's go to this, what was this? I think this is the Arteza. Yep, it is. I mean, I can, you get to a point, guys, where you can tell just by the way it feels in your cup when you're stirring it around. This is the heavier body Arteza paint mixed with the same amount of pouring medium as the high flow paint. Look at that. Blop, 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 blop. Very thick. But let's just put that aside for a second. Now this is our fluid paint, our fluid golden gold. Stirring that up, back and forth, left and right, around and about. There you go, a little bit more fluid. Now, I'm doing a ring pour. I like my paints thicker for a ring pour than I do my swipe. So I'm going to pour a little of this out here for you. That's the fluid golden gold. This is the heavier body Arteza tube paint. This is the golden high flow. All three paints have the same amount of paint in the cup, the same amount of pouring medium. See the difference? Fluid paint is very fluid. The heavier body paint is thicker. The fluid paint, high flow, medium body, fluid. Okay, so what do I do here? I want my paints to be all the same consistency. We're doing a ring pour. I like them all to be the same consistency and I like them to be a little thicker. So, the high flow paint is too thin. The fluid paint is just about right. The tube paint is too thick. So what do I do? I put, which one is it? I'm sorry. The fluid paint is the perfect consistency for a ring pour. It leaves a mound on a mound on a mound. So we're putting that aside. 
Didn't need to add any water, anything to thin it down. The tube paint is too thick. It leaves a blob on a blob on a blob. The high flow paint is too thin. See how it just dissipates into the bottom of the cup? It leaves almost no trace when it hits the cup below. So I need to thicken this up to be the same consistency as this. How do I thicken it up? I use my mixed pouring medium. Now, Golden website for Golden Paints has different mediums that you can add to your paint to make them thicker. I use this because it's perfect and I always have it on hand. So the mixed pouring medium, you can go as much as one part paint, seven parts pouring medium without compromising your pigments. And I've tested it and it works. So I'm using this as my thickening agent so that I can get this high flow paint to the consistency of this fluid paint, which is perfect for my ring pour. So that's why I keep it in this little container right here next to me. We're going to go ahead and add some of the mix in there. And we're going to stir it up and stir it up and stir it up. And we're going to check it. Still a little bit too thin compared to this paint, which is perfect for my ring pour. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that mix in there. And as you can see, my paint colors are not changing. They're not compromised. Now, I can tell just by the way this feels in the cup that that is almost perfect and is the same consistency as this. But what do we do here? This paint right here. This is a blob on a blob on a blob. What do I do to it to get it down to the consistencies of these two paints? I use, where the heck did it go? I use my GAC 800 because it's thinner than Floetrol. It's thinner than the mix. And worst case scenario, I add a little bit of water to it. And I didn't mean worst case scenario. There's nothing wrong with adding water to your paints. There we have it. Still a smidgen, just a smidgen too thick. So I grab my handy dandy little squeeze bottle filled with water and I add just a drizzle. It's a lot easier to add a little bit at a time than it is to add too much, guys. Now I can tell by just the way this feels in my cup that we are close. So this is the heavier body paint. It's leaving a mound on a mound. This is the fluid paint. Leaving a mound on a mound. And this is, actually that's the high flow paint. This is the fluid paint, leaving a mound on a mound. Now, do you have to be exact? No, you don't have to be exact. Let me see if I have another paper plate here. I don't think I do. Well, I'm gonna have to tear this off and I'm gonna put these on the plate so you can see the consistency of these guys. Now, do I test this? I don't. You get to a point where you can just tell by the way that paint feels. Okay, so we have a fluid paint, we have a high flow paint, and we have a medium body paint. Might need to add a little bit more water to this guy. 
but they're close in the same consistency. So that's how I mix my paints. Um, reach out, ask me over and over again, and I'll do my best to always answer you guys, but you need to find your own way. I can't always tell you how to mix your paints unless I know everything that you're doing. Your pouring medium, what you're using for your pouring medium, the paints you're using, the density of the paints that you're using, um, the technique that you're using. Do you want your paints thinner? -er? Do you want your paints thicker? -er? So it's difficult unless I send you a questionnaire to fill out and you answer all my questions, then I might be able to give you all some guidance. So I hope that helps, guys. I'm, I'm not annoyed. I'll continue to answer your questions, but I was sitting upstairs drinking that beer and I said to Rick, I need to go help these peeps. I need to tell them and teach them. I need to pay it forward, the things that I have learned along the way. So. I hope that helps. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm going back to my beard now. See ya.